turn it around. It's Down to Business with Jack Miller. Forget what they teach you in school. This is real life. Not Wall Street, but Main Street. A real show on what's really involved with starting and running a business. With all the ups and downs. Our guests will answer your questions and provide you with valuable information. Stay tuned and join in the conversation. Call us at 305-541-2350. Follow us on Facebook at Jack Miller Down to Business or on Twitter at HJackMiller1. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Kyle, we have so many more questions. Todd and I were just rambling them off uh, during the break. So if it's all right, can I just do the same to you and you can... Yeah, let's go. Okay, so how would an individual or a business get set up? Let's say I wanted to buy Bitcoin, buy whether it be one Bitcoin or five of them or whatever it is. How do sure, I get, I, the, get set the up The best way it? is, uh, is probably a site called Circle.com, C-I-C-R-L, C-I-R, Circle.com, uh, or Coinbase.com. Those are two good, uh, reliable solutions for U.S. citizens. Buy Bitcoin. So you go online, and I guess you give them a Visa or Mastercard, and you could buy whatever you want in Bitcoin. Yeah, or I mean, really, Visa and Mastercard are no, are, are are bad choices for that because there's high fees attached to them. Uh, but a lot of like ACH transfer, bank transfer. Okay, so somehow uh, I get the money. Gotcha. Yeah, you now, just gotta send in the money, and then you say buy Bitcoin, and then you and, and they'll also like you know they 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 have insurance for their sites too, so you can feel tr- you can feel confident in keeping the Bitcoin with them. Now, um, as well. What about there, those are, that's good for personal. Now, if you're a business that you want to accept it, there's a site called Coinbase has merchant solutions as well, and there's another one called BitPay, uh, B I T P A Y, uh, and they allow you to on your website or in person, the uh, checkout terminal, uh, be able to accept Bitcoin. Even if you don't want, even if you don't believe in Bitcoin or want to hold it, you can allow at least allow your people to pay you in Bitcoin. So when if I go into a store and they have uh, and they accept Bitcoin using BitPay, they'll show me a code. I'll send them some money. I'll send them the Bitcoin, and then BitPay will convert that to U.S. dollars and will put that directly into their bank account, and at zero fees. I think up to the first million dollars or something like that. So, um, like you know, it's it's, an, it's a no-brainer. And considering you know, oftentimes retailers are totally willing to pay like lots of points just to get the money. So it's incredibly efficient. Plus, I would imagine it's like a hip, cool thing to say, oh, oh yeah. I accept Bitcoin. Huge marketing. You can tell people. You know, you, I like telling people, like, you want to be ahead of the curve and behind it, right? Uh, so you can go to the – there's a big global Bitcoin community, and we love anybody who starts accepting it. And we'll choose their services most of the time over somebody who's not into it. So um, It's you know, like Bitcoin loyalty. That. Yeah, Absolutely. Gotcha. Now, do you use? I I know you do because we talked about it. But tell me how you use Bitcoin in your daily lives, your life. Oh goodness, I use it in all sorts of ways. So I mean, I one of my favorite restaurants. I could go in and, and use it there. Um, even amongst my friends, like there's this one solution called Change Tip, and it's it's incredible. It's it'll it's enabling something called social payments. So it allows you to send money over Twitter, over Facebook, over Reddit, or over email and text message. So, like, you know, I went on a canoe trip the other week, and I owed my buddy 100 bucks. So I sent him a text message with, with a link, and he clicked that, and it automatically put $100 from my account into his account instantly with no fee. And, like, you know, that is mind-blowing. And- or, like, you know, on the radio, for example, like, you know, you could give away – uh, like, you know, small amounts of money over Twitter to people for following or for interacting with your brand. Incredible things. Like, you know, I tipped the waitress the other, other night at the, at the bar with, with using change tip in a text message. So what do you do? I think I, you told me that the other night, and I thought that was the best pickup line in the world. <laughs> so what do you say to this cute little waitress or cute waitress? You say, oh, I want to tip you. What's your, what's your, your, your phone number? And I'll send you a text with the tip. Yeah, absolutely. And because, well, the restaurant, one of the restaurants that accepts Bitcoin, there's another one that doesn't. And I was like, you know, does anybody ask, ever ask you for Bitcoin? She's like, like, no, well, not really. Sometimes I was like, well, you know, I can, I can send you some Bitcoin if you want. She's like, oh, that'd be great. Because like, for servers, one thing, like they have a really tough time. Like they just hold on to tons of cash and very disposable. So they're terrible savers. But by holding a little bit of Bitcoin, like, you know, it's a way and it's good. So she was like, yeah, totally. So I got her phone number. I went to change tips, said, Send money via text message. Said how much? Ten dollars. Press. It created me a little link. 
copied that, put in a text message, sent it to her. She clicks it, logs in with Facebook. Now she has a Bitcoin account that is accessible using her Facebook. So look, and if she, any, she, she now has it. If anything else, every single guy should get Bitcoin because that sounds like a great way to pick you, up girls. You have uh, you have opened Pandora's box here, yeah. with Jack. I, I, I um, think that's a great thing. I, <laughs> we are we are going down a slippery slope. Um, anyway, you mentioned that Bitcoin's private. Uh, how easily is it for the IRS, for instance, to track what's going on in, in, in the world that you, you just spoke about or, or in general? Um, in what way would you mean the IRS track? Like, well, so every, everything, every, first of all, every transaction that happens on a network is public. Like it's all registered on what's called the blockchain, which is like, and imagine it's a big bulletin board that has every single transaction as they're happening recorded. Now, the thing is, it's not Kyle sent Jack 10 bucks. It's this long cryptographic key sent or address sent this long address but $10. Look, the government over the past 30 years has really cracked down on the use of cash. They track everything through debit cards and, you know, visa, credit cards. So I would imagine that sooner or later they're going to really crack down on Bitcoin. So I can't, they, they want their tax dollars and they want to know how we're spending our money. So I would think that they're going to start to do that sooner rather than later. Yeah. So like, you know, with, with a solution like BitPay, I mean, you're, you're, everything's all, they're all recorded and you're, and you're there. So it'd actually be very easy for a business to be like, yes, we did all, we rec- received all of this money. And, you know, of course we charge our sales tax on this and here you go. Here's your, your, here's your portion. At the end of the day, it's still on the retailer or the merchant to charge for the taxes. Even like, you know, in a cash society, you know, you're able to avoid it by paying cash if the, if the, you know, the merchant is willing to. But again, that's, that's, that's going against the rules. Now, one of the things that this will do is it will force some innovation within the tax system as well, um, you know, as it, because it's not going to be like totally transparent. Um, and you can be very private, but at the same time, you can also be very public with Bitcoin. So, like, you know, while, they're all, while they want to watch all our spending, we can also watch all of their spending with this. So it's like, talk about flipping the equation for a second. If you have the government starting to use Bitcoin, literally, we can know every single transaction they're doing. And because they're the government, they're public office, and they're, they're, they're there to represent us, they should, be, they should be recording all of their transactions. And we should be able to, if we want to, see all the see where the money goes well, good luck with getting information from the government but what about you. what about for vices around the world i mean is this like a good way for people who are gambling or, or buying or selling drugs or prostitution or that kind of thing is this a good way to hide that or, or no uh I, it's not a good way to to hide it i mean it's it's a digital form of cash so just like cash is used for gambling and prostitution and drugs right now like it's the number one use for all of those kind of things. Now, Bitcoin, you know, it can be used as well for that. Bitcoin is money. So, so, and so you money pay your prostitute. For, for you pay righteous your, things, you, or it can be oh used boy. for vicious, vicious things. So you pay your prostitute in Bitcoin. I, I, that you is, can pay. There are there are prostitutes that no doubt accept Bitcoin. That would be cool. Todd, first of all, you're assuming, <laughs> you know, you, you, you say vice. You're assuming that prostitution's a vice. Well, I don't know. I, I know, like, places like, like up in New York and, and strip clubs have things like funny money. What's but funny this money? Se- this seems like real money, and uh, I'm just curious. This seems like a slippery slope. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> All right, maybe we should just. <laughs> you want? You want it real quick? We got it. We. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'll tell you a funny story. The other day, I came. I came home from work. I came home a little early. Whatever. I didn't feel good. I see this guy running down the street naked. So I pull, roll down my window. How come you're running down the street naked? He goes, because I heard you came home for early from work. <laughs> it's actually a, it's not my joke it didn't happen it's a rodney dangerfield joke it's i heard it last one. night i miss rodney he's great wow. anyway kyle we got to take a break soon what did we miss and i really appreciate your time this is just such a, a cutting edge industry um what did we miss what didn't i ask you that you would like to uh, say to the listeners I just would like to encourage everybody to do more research. Um, you know, don't don't immediately go to Circle and put all your investments in it. Um, you know, educate yourself. Uh, it's a it's a bit of a it's a rabbit hole. Uh, you can keep going deeper and deeper and deeper, and you know, your eyes will get wider and wider and wider. And you know, if you're like me or like most of the people in this community, in the very beginning, you'll be incredibly skeptical of it. 
Um, you know, it sounds it's complicated, but uh, at the same time, if you really look into what money is and how it's issued and where it came from and, like, you know, the, the notion of tokens, uh, Bitcoin is no different except it's much more pure. It's, as opposed to trusting in money that's based on, uh, that's based on men, how about we trust money that's based on mass? That's what I, that's what I think. Uh, Kyle, I really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy guy. Thank you very, very much. I, I want to have you back because it's a lot of great information. Oh, and, yeah. And, one, one, and thank you very much, Jack. And one last thing. Um, to whoever's listening right now, if you go to tiny.cc front slash 880 thebiz, uh, the first 10 people to go to that will get, uh, I think, $5 for the Bitcoin just to get you started. I set up that link. So, you know, give, I'm giving away some Bitcoin, too. And if you follow me on Kyle Kemper and say, send me some Bitcoin. You're, I'll, you're assuming that you we up. have that many listeners, Kyle. We have plenty of listeners. <laughs> what, was, what, was, what was that again? I, I'm going to that address as soon as I'm done. I want, yeah, yeah. I, totally. I want, well, I, you know what? I want to open up a Bitcoin account because uh, it, so, it sounds interesting. You never know. Yeah, hey, it's a, it's a diversified asset class, too. Like, the rest of the world can go to, can go to you know, I that place. You. And Bitcoin is protected from that, and and if anything, it will go. It, it may go the other way. Uh, I so hear it's you. Smart to own a little bit. It's a, you're taking a risk by not owning any. Well, the, uh, the I'm address gonna, again. Yeah, what's the address again? The address again is tiny dot cc. So t i n y dot cc front slash eight eighty the biz. Okay, I'm going to go to it this afternoon or when I get done. And you know why? Because in case I want to tip a, a cute waitress. My oh, wife will kill me, but... Oh, hey, you got $5 of the Bitcoin. I, I'm, I'm it's excited. like 16. Who, who, who's 16? You. You're like a 16-year-old in there. I, I'm very immature. <laughs> I can't help it. My wife knows it, though. She knows it. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle. Th heart. Yeah, Kyle, thank you very much. You're the best. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to go to that web address uh, tonight. So thank you very much hey, for guys, your time. Hey, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Kyle Kemper. I'm happy to address any questions or, or do this again anytime you want. Uh, I, take care. I appreciate it, Kyle. Very, I don't know about what you guys think, but I think it's pretty interesting. And it's just at the beginning stages of it. Imagine in five or ten years, and I'm sure all these things, like uh, Todd brought up in terms of security and government intervention, will, um, w w will be tightened up and give people more protection as time goes on.